Um, I mean, the game that they blew the Chargers out, I think Cam Newton had like 50 yards passing. So <laughs> imagine beating the team by 40 points with your quarterback having <laughs> less than 100 yards passing and no touchdowns. So sure. That's why I can't buy Cam Newton, y'all. <laughs> I can't. They don't need him, bro. He does. He brings nothing to this team. <laughs> and I like. I mean, Prime Cam was a beast. He's just not what he used to be. He just. He, I mean, I I say it all the time on the show. It's it's hard to have longevity at the highest level in this sport. I mean, we're talking about four year windows, folks. I mean, if you can be great for more than four years, you're an outlier, honestly. So, and Cam Newton just didn't have that. He had a nice little four year stretch and got to the Super Bowl, won an MVP, and. It's a good career. Yeah. Solid career. Yeah, he definitely had a he had a Hall of Fame worthy career. Just based on who they let into the Hall of Fame. I would right, say. yeah, right. Like if I the Hall of Fame that I would envision, there would not there would be maybe a hundred people in there. But there's you know And I'm taking some out. <laughs> I'm taking some out as the years progress. It, it's a hundred club. We have a hundred player what what do you think about that idea? A hundred players max. You keep your gold jacket, you keep the bus, you keep all of that, but an active Hall of Fame list where we're always comparing and taking out and switching. That would be – that's that's something. That would actually – because they, they're going to have to do something like that because, I mean, if, if sports keep up, you can't just keep filling up the hall. It's going to become the Hall of Nothing. Yeah, a, it, it's, it just point, means nothing, right. After a certain time, so you got to bring it to another level. That would be interesting, an active Hall, hall of, of Fame. Elite? Hall of Elite. Can we go higher than Hall of Fame? The – Elite of the hall. <laughs> uh, That's yeah. what I want. Hall of the elite. Yeah. Hundred players. Because uh, my, actively, Montana's in there. Um, Aaron Rodgers in there. Brady's in there. Um, you know, like Barry Sanders, Calvin Johnson. Probably Julio Jones with like Moss and T.O. Like you yeah, would have, right. maybe you would have to do like so for quarterbacks because there's only one, one quarterback on the field at a time. Uh, maybe you do like the top ten of all time. Now let's, let's say top twenty for quarterbacks. So it, I guess a hundred would be too small for football. I think you could do that for basketball, but like so for receivers, it would be like top thirty receivers, top thirty. Because there's a lot of receivers. There's a lot of receivers that are, like, top tier. Right. Like, top tier receivers. It's it's, it's a lot. But, I mean, that's what the Hall of Elite is supposed to do. Because now we're starting to get into, you know, back to the Hall of Fame. You know, watered down a little bit. True. It is going to be watered down. But, like, if you – so, if I – I'm just off off my – just off the top of my head. It's – you got Jerry Rice. You got Randy Moss. You got T.O. You got – Larry Fitzgerald has to be in there. Because he has 17. He's second all-time in receiving yards. He has 17,000. Yeah, he has to be in there. Um, and plus in his prime, I mean, he was going off. Oh, yeah. He Consistent as off. fuck. I mean, yeah. you could not get more reliable than Larry Fitzgerald. So he's got to be in there. Um, did I say Calvin Johnson? I don't think I did. So that's Calvin Johnson. So Calvin, Larry, Moss. I think, old. unfortunately, Calvin would probably, like if we're doing like this Hall of Elite where we're actively – comparing and taking out players. I think Calvin Johnson would probably get taken out just because he doesn't have the accolades. And I think that's really what it's going to come down to. We got to have accolades. And unfortunately the lines were trash. It's no fault of his own. Well, I would say 2000 yard receiving season is, that's a big accolade. That's, accolade. that's a nice accolade. Yeah. You got me there. The two, I'll give you that accolade. That's <laughs> it though. Cause I mean, the year that Matthew Stafford threw for 5,000 yards, he had 2000 of them. Ridiculous. That's fantastic. He had two thousand of them. Like that's 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 he Matthew Stafford would go from a five thousand yard quarterback to a three thousand yard quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> like let, let's replace Calvin Johnson with any other receiver six hundred yards. So he go from five thousand to thirty six hundred yards. Yeah, like that's a True. big difference. Damn. Calvin yeah, Johnson was difference. really unguardable. Um, he's he's definitely he would be up there at least for me. He he's up there. Yeah, he's up there. And then, um. I can't think of any others besides those, like, I think six six receivers I, I would name as far as the top, top tier. Uh, definitely some recency bias because I'm not I'm not talking about, what, Steve Largent. Yeah, I'm not talking about 70s or 80s. Get yeah, that out of here, please. I, like, I know there's, like, a lot of Steve Largent uh, fans out there. I mean, he was pretty good. Um, I didn't really see – I mean, I didn't see him play. I, I, see the, I see the numbers. The numbers are pretty good, but I do understand it's a different game, so maybe he would have more gaudy numbers if he played today. But I don't know if he's the athlete of the other six people I just named. And he was a pretty good athlete. 
I would have to see him face off against the athletes of today because today's athletes are pretty good. Right. And I so, just think it's natural progression. I mean, like, everything's increasingly getting better. I mean, we've got longevity. we got Tom Brady playing 20 seasons. I mean, we've got nutrition to take care of your body. So now there's more longevity. I just think athleticism naturally develops year after year. That's why we can't I, – I, I don't personally favor, like, 70s and 80s players. I'm just yeah. – I just think the overall level of – play in competition and athleticism it just naturally progresses to get better year decade after decade and i think that like this is going to be a take that i can only really reflect on you know 50 years from now because i'm only 25 and you know i've only had this one really generation we're heading into the second generation like our generation grew up on brady and drew Brees and peyton manning and all that yeah so now we're getting into this new generation of pat mahomes, pat mahomes Jackson, exactly so we're gonna Justin have to <laughs> act, yeah right actively keep tracking this new generation comparing it back to the last generation uh, to see, do we actually have, you know, is it recency bias? Is it athleticism keeps on getting better and better? Because it seems like nobody can really compete with what Brady has done. But now yeah. we're talking about Patty Mahomes. So yeah. it's all, uh, this is a take, a narrative that will not be found out for the next 50 years. So hopefully it takes my fans are still here, but in 50 years, and we can revisit this and be like, hey, we were wrong 50 years ago. Mahomes got to get at least four Super Bowls. He got to get something. Yeah, not four. Maybe like three. If he gets three. No, no, no. It's got to be four. It's, <laughs> especially since he's already lost to Brady twice. Lost in the AFC Championship game. Lost in the Super Bowl. So you got to – because yeah. you just lost in your prime – well, see, that's what it is. So, yeah, so if he doesn't ever beat Tom Brady, he got to get, like, four Super Bowls. If he gets one of them where he beats Tom Brady, then I would say three. If he, okay. if he can get one in the next two years before Brady's two, right, right. So he racing against the clock. <laughs> he is racing against the clock right now. Because if he never beats him and Brady retires. There's uh, no way. I don't know if there's any way. Yeah, I got to see a head-to-head. -head. Yeah. Yeah. And there's been no head-to-head. -head. He's lost every single head-to-head. -head. That's why Eli Manning, even though he'll never be the GOAT, he's a, he's going to be his own GOAT. And you can't argue against him because he beat the GOAT. He beat the GOAT. Oh, you think that guy's the GOAT? What am I? I I'm, beat him twice. I'm the GOAT Slayer. Yeah. I'd rather be the GOAT Slayer than the GOAT because yeah, the GOAT Slayer doesn't die. And, like, I mean, he's, like I said, the numbers don't look extravagant for him. But in those postseason runs, he had extravagant numbers. He got it done. He got it done. with. He was looking good, too. He was looking good. Dang. Dang. So, Patriots.